without the TV trucks, you would be playing a guessing game when it comes to repairing the mains. And what the TV truck also do is help us to speed up the maintenance process. The more that we can repair, the better that we can serve our citizen. The TV goes out there and they show us exactly what the defect is and so we can dig or excavate right there and fix the problem or we can determine we have grease and the mains just need to be washed. Let's say there's a manhole 500 feet apart. Well, if he only finds one thing within that 500 feet, we may repair it. If he sees three or four issues where, in a way, it's probably cheaper or better to replace that whole section of pipe, we would send that to engineering. But they still want to see what, what did we find to know where the problems are. So it kind of depends on what he finds, how deep it is, and how many of them. He's the first person looking at it, so he'll say, well, I mean, I think this, this is a problem here. So he'll make that note and he'll also tell his supervisor, hey man, here's what I saw, here's what we probably ought to look at. And then the supervisor will, will review what he said. After all his observations, it'll total those up and give it a code as to how bad a shape that pipe is in. There's different things for a, a crack in the pipe versus they call a fracture versus a break or even like a hole. There's rust, stains. That would tell you what typically how much water is usually in that pipe on a daily basis. The pipe never runs full, or you don't want it to go completely full. It all flows downhill from the house all the way to the pump station. When it leaves the station, it goes in a force main and is pumped in a pressurized pipe to the treatment plant. 